Hello, this is Brian Chin, and in this presentation, we're going to talk about velvet disease. Now, velvet disease is called velvet because it gives this kind of velvety type coating. And you can see it here in the tail. It's kind of a milky kind of color. And it's part of the tail, and also you can see it's starting to infect part of the peduncle area here. Taking a closer look, you can see how it's affecting. You see the difference here at the peduncle, the kind of the healthy area, and how you're starting to get this kind of light coating of parasites that are covering it giving it that velvety type look. And it's milky, the tail isn't transparent, it's, it's opaque. Now for treatment for velvet, at your pet stores, you can usually find medication for external parasites. It may say for treatment of ick, but it also treats velvet. The medication that I use now is with formaldehyde and malachite green. Now, salt treatments can also be used, but I found the medication with formaldehyde seems to work a little quicker. And when you are using medications, read the label and make sure that how it affects your fish, that it doesn't kill your fish, or it may also kill other types of species in your tank that doesn't affect the fish that you're treating. So you have to look at that, how the medication treats your fish, other species of fish that are in the tank, and other living organisms such as snails and plants. Also, if you can avoid adding antibiotics, I advise to that because antibiotics may kill bacterial infections on the fish, but it also kills the good bacteria that support your biologicals in your tank to break down ammonia and nitrites. Now the treatment period usually is four or more days. And the reason behind that is that the external parasites has a three to four day life cycle. It initially attaches to your fish, feeds on it, grows, and then it drops off the fish to multiply. And this is when the medication kills them. If it isn't killed, it attacks the fish again. So if the medication doesn't catch all of the parasites that drop off, you have to continue to treat until all of the parasites are gone. And also, on warmer temperatures, usually the cycle is shortened. Now here's the same fish that I showed earlier after four days of treatment. And you can see the difference in the tail and the part of the peduncle. The tail is more transparent and not opaque. And here's a comparison so you can see the difference. Here's the fish that has velvet. And, you know, it's kind of milky color. And look after treatment. You can see how the tail is clear. And then the peduncle is smooth here. It doesn't have kind of the coating that you can see on the peduncle here. I do have a book on keeping a healthy freshwater aquarium and fish. And it's available on Amazon. I also have a book on guppies. And I have a book on breeding show guppies and genetics, also available on Amazon. 
If you are interested in guppies, I do have a website that talks about the books, has lots of photos, and informative articles. And please join and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get updates on new content that I upload. Thank you.